everybody, it's Rachel from Stitched Up. So I'm talking quite quiet because I'm in my garden and I've never sort of filmed in my garden before. And I'm a bit worried that the neighbors might be thinking that I'm talking to myself. So anyway, I'm here today to talk you through my July makes. So I'm not wearing anything that I've made. This is just a standard ready to wear top because it's Saturday, it's really warm and I, um, yeah, I've just thrown this on with a pair of jersey shorts. I'm not gonna show you my bottom half. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, um, I'm just here today to talk you through my July makes. Now, the first thing that you'll probably see in the background is my mannequin that I've brought outside with my Lottie dress on. Now, Lisa Comfort um, launched a magazine a few months ago and the third version came out, third, third version I think it was a few weeks ago with the Lottie dress as the free pattern. Now I wanted a dress like this and I've used the Katarina dress from Seamwork but I just find that the gathers around the waist on that are just a bit much so when this came out initially I thought oh, I'm not going to I'm not going to buy that because I can just use the Katarina but actually after thinking about it I thought yeah I'm going to buy it because it's a, a bit more of a fitted style but there's not as m many gathers around well there's no gathers around the waist at all it's just with a tie belt so yeah so I purchased the magazine with the Lottie dress and decided that I was going to have a go at making that so I've made it out of the Lisa Comfort fabric I bought a few months ago I got this fabric from crafty so-and-so in Leicester loads of places sell it I'm sure you've seen it and um, they were having a 20% off um, promotion so I thought yeah I'm gonna get this fabric because I really like this version this is the elderflower press in the navy and I haven't quite finished it because I have to add some buttons and it needs a really good press but essentially it's just a it's just a simple summer dress there's a few little gathers just around the front here and the shoulder straps and the finishing is all bias binding that you make from the fabric so I've done that all the way around and it's got a button band all the way down the front but as I say I've got to finish the buttons first and they're playing going overhead um, and yeah simple tie belt as well so the only alterations I've done to this dress is to add on about three inches to the length of it so that it is long enough for me. I bought two and a half meters of this fabric and I did only just have enough to do it because of making the bias binding as well so just bear that in mind if you are tall. Um, now I bought some buttons because I wasn't sure it's I wasn't sure which buttons I wanted actually so I've got some I bought navy and I bought a teal so let me just show you that there I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see that colour. So that's the teal version, um, which I thought would look quite nice because of the sort of greeny colour that's picked up in the fabric, but I'm not actually quite sure if that's a good enough match. Or I've got navy, so there's the navy ones. So I'm just not sure at the minute which ones I'm going to put on, but um, yeah, I've got to finish that off. So that's that. It fits really well. The fit is, is good. I can't remember what size I made. I think I did a size 12 top and I graded out to a 14 at the hip um, and it does just fit my hips at the minute so um, because as I say it's quite a straight style but I'm hoping to get this done so that I can wear it on holiday in a couple of weeks when I go to Portugal. Okay so that's that one. Now the next thing I said I was going to make was the Lenny top from Tasuti Patterns which I did make out of a metre of gorgeous linen fabric that I got from Sea Salt and this is it here so it is a simple woven top it's a boxy style I don't know if you can see that there okay it's got a v-neck with a center front seam all the way down the front and you do you top stitch the facing down I don't know if you can see that very well I can't see what I'm doing here in the sun and then at the back it's got a yoke which you can maybe just about see there and then the yoke is fitted inside now I couldn't do great pattern matching with this because the pattern does say that you need 1.2 meters and I had a meter and I did need to lengthen this for me as well so um, I managed as best I could now I did pattern match a little bit at the sides I don't know if you can see that but the yellows matched but the blues are 
don't know if you can see that they're just they've gone off a little bit but you know it's okay it's okay for me um the armholes are bias bound i made some bias binding out of the remnants of the fabric and yeah this is great it works really well it's nice to wear with shorts and jeans the only thing i will say is it's quite big i made the size medium and i was a little bit worried that actually it would would be a little bit small but to be honest with you it's really wide um i know that it's supposed to be loose fit and boxy but it, it is really really wide on me so i am going to have to take it in and i think if i made this again i would probably go down to a small and i probably will make it again because it's a really nice just basic top so that's that one um now the other thing that i made that i didn't say that i was going to make was with us going on holiday in a couple of weeks my son desperately needed some new shorts and um, I've made him these shorts before I will link to the vlog where I showed you them down below these are a bird a pattern um, I will put a picture of it up here so you can have a look and I just bought some plain black cotton poplin um, and made him another pair so that's these here they've got a really nice waistband the waistband is three separate channels of elastic and I actually really like that because it, it, it just it gives you a lot of security with the elastic and the elastic then doesn't tend to roll over so really really like that effect um, and it's got deep pockets at the front that just go around the side I don't know if you can see that of the leg it's got a band separate band at the bottom and then I've put back pockets on these ones as well I don't know if you can see it very well because with them being black but these are great. I've just lengthened these a little bit for him and he loves them. Perfect. I think they took me about two and a half hours, something like that, to whip up. So it really helped with having made them before that I'd got the pattern pieces already and he's not changed size. So it was just easy to just get those together. So yeah, so they're a great pair of shorts for him. So really happy with those and he'll be taking those on holiday. And then I did make the Seren dress. Um, I've done a video of a pattern review of this dress which I will link to down below if you've not seen it this is the dress here so uh, there we go so it's absolutely gorgeous with the flounce on the front buttons all the way down the front these were some buttons that I just had in my stash they're just plain white ones I don't know if you can see that there um, it's got a nice waistband on it and um, that's the back and I've made this midi length the straps are great because they cover your bra. I'm not going to talk too much about this because there is, um, an, I've done a pattern review of it in another video. So, but I'm really, really happy with this dress. It's gorgeous. And I'm definitely going to make another one. So that's that one. And then the final thing that I've made, that I did manage to get, ma get made, and I can't believe I've done these in two weeks. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty amazing, really. <laughs> um, I did make the... In the folds peppermint jumpsuit which is this one here and this is out of this gorgeous um lady mcelroy um foliage canopy is it the crepe yes this is the crepe i got this from guthrie and garney at the beginning of the year and i wanted to make a jumpsuit out of this and i could never decide but i finally managed to decide to make this one so it looks a bit like a baby's romper an oversized one but it does have a belt with it now the belt is huge it's really long um, it's got a v-neck at the front and the back which is great and it's got an invisible zip which I just used one that I've got in my stash I don't know if you can see well you shouldn't be able to see because it's supposed to be invisible <laughs> but there it is all the way down the back and um, I had to lengthen this I did need um, all the fabric and inside if I just take this off and show you it's got a facing inside you can see that there which I've just overlocked the edges now you use the burrito method to put the facing in and it is a little bit awkward I will say but it left me scratching my head a couple of times and I've used the burrito method a few times now but yeah it was it did make me sit and really think about how to do it but once you get your head around it you have to roll up the legs and all sorts it's a bit strange but anyway um it worked and the only thing i've got to do with these is i've still got a hem i've just overlocked the bottom for now but i've got to hem, hem the bottom so i will put some pictures in of me wearing this um and um and yeah so really pleased about that so that's it that's all i got made in july um but yeah i'm really happy with what i did get made so 
my next video I'm starting to think about what I want for my holiday I've got two weeks to my holiday and I'm wanting to make some more shorts and tops I think I've made enough dresses um, yeah enough dresses and jumpsuits and I really want to make some more tops and shorts to take with me because I'm just they're the kinds of things that I'm wanting to reach for and I just don't seem to have in my wardrobe at the minute so I'm going to have a look at what fabrics I've got and patterns and um, yeah my next video will be about that so I hope you like what I've made if you do please give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and I will see you again next